<clears throat> hey there YouTube and thanks for joining us on this hardware review which is going to be focused on Corsair 750 watt i-series power supply. Now as you can see it's currently installed on our avatar system and there's not a whole lot I can show you as is so I'm gonna cut it out of the wire management regardless of how unhappy it's gonna make production. Sorry guys not sorry. Okay, now that we have the power supply removed from the case so we can actually show you what it looks like, as you can see, like most power supplies do, they have their own branded fan, of course their logo in the center. 140 millimeters, which is pretty typical for most high quality power supplies. This is gold rated, so other than platinum power supplies, it's still gonna have a good rating. You're looking at a 93% efficiency rate, which when you look at the 7% differential between what you get in platinum power supplies, for the average user, you're really not gonna see a difference and it's not gonna do a whole lot to your energy bills. So let's not get too crazy about it, all right? You can see in the front, fully modular. It's also got a little, little connector for the Corsair Link. Now, what is Corsair Link? Corsair Link software is essentially a manner in which Corsair allows you to connect their devices to a midboard USB port and or USB hub at any point in time to communicate through their Corsair Link software. This will tell you anything from temperatures, to fan speeds, to voltages, watts consumed per device, anything that could possibly be useful for you. For a power supply, it's gonna show you a lot of things in terms of the power supply's temperature, the RPM, the kind of voltage utilization that it has as it relates to wattage consumption on the components that you have hooked it to your PC. Make sense? Okay, if it doesn't, we're gonna run through some of the highlights of the power supply real quick. So the power filtering on this power supply is handled by Nippon Caps. Nippon is known to be a high quality manufacturer of most uh, raw materials you'll find in components, specifically in power supplies, is going to lead to heavily reduced ripple reduction problems and increased ripple protection, which also cre creates system stability when overclocking. Zero RPM fan mode, which is pretty typical in most common power supplies, but Corsair does a good job at keeping these power supplies quiet under normal fan usage conditions. I mean, what, what else can I say? It's a power supply. I mean, it's, it's a component that most people don't really get particularly excited about. I mean, I tend to get excited about power supplies for the simple fact that my computer usually sits right next to my dome and I can hear anything that's going on inside of it. So if I have a near silent power supply or even a fanless power supply, it's a pretty big deal to me. So for those of you looking for a high quality power supply that is silent, will support massive overclocking capabilities and allows you to communicate to Windows so Windows doesn't feel lonely, I think you found it. And it'd probably help if I held it right side up. This is Joe at AVA Direct, and stay tuned for future hardware reviews based on the review systems that we have lined up for early next year. Bye!